Well, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back, ladies and gents, folks, guys, gals, all sorts. It's been a while. Yeah, life got overwhelming. Um, I got overwhelmed with juggling my job, uh, working four days a week with college, which was two days a week, meaning I only had one day a week to myself. And I was finding it really difficult to juggle uh, the channel plus the social life plus everything all at the same time. And... Yeah, I was finding it pretty difficult, which is why there has not been a video in about four months. And looking back over the years, like, that's been my main problem, it's consistency. Like, I could have gotten through so many games if I just stayed consistent. So I'm really making an effort to try and stay consistent, at least. And... To herald my return to YouTube and trying, we're going to play, you've guessed it, Resident Evil. Now, I am not good at this game. Let me just, let me just, I preface every let's play. Oh, that's my phone, two seconds. And we're back, sorry about that. Yeah, I preface every let's play by saying I am terrible at this game because I always am. But, um, and this is no exception, Resident Evil... I love the franchise, and I really like the game, and I really love the whole story. I'm just not great with survival horror. I'm just not good at it. I'm just really bad at it. But I really want to do this playthrough, so we're going to try it. Resident Evil. And I'm going to try and do both Jill and Chris. Now, I have played this game before, and I have finished it once, I believe. But we're going to play Jill first. Because she's the easier of the two, I believe. And I will fix the black bars once I get to the actual game and can see exactly what it looks like once I'm playing. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle Chris, of our mission. You found it? No, I haven't found it yet. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Look, Chris! It was Bravo team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why.
Chris Redfield. Jill Valentine. Barry Burton. Rebecca Chambers. Albert Wesker. Resident Evil. What is this? Wow, what a mansion! Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it! Don't open that door! But Chris is... What is it? Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill. Can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay, let me handle this. Stay alert! A dining room. And we're in the game. Two seconds. And welcome back. I fixed the borders. Right, so we are in the game. This is the original PlayStation 1 classic. And I'm going to play this game like as if I was just playing it myself. So I'm not going to. We're going to deal with. We're going to deal with me being bad the usual way. Is I'm just going to be bad. So you can move about with tanky controls with the D pad. You hold in square to run. Important. There's no quick turn, I don't believe, in this version. The original version. And there's not a lot. Of, triangle and circle don't actually do anything as far as I'm aware. So if we press start, we come up with this inventory screen, which shows what we have equipped. We have a combat knife, we have a beretta, and we have a first aid spray. If we want to equip you items come up here, that's what we have equipped now. We equip the beretta, we can check items, which brings up like a, a view of them, which can be useful in certain puzzles. Square is your back button in this game, and you can also see we have a Fine, which is our health essentially to tell us how what our health is at. You all know that this is this is Resident Evil. Come on, and we're in the mansion, first floor, and as you can see, we're currently in that room. Once we unlock maps, these will this map will be very handy. And the file, the files do. It. I can't seem to actually open them, so there must be nothing in them yet. So yeah, that's that. So with our gun, we, we aim with R1 and we can either aim up or we can either aim down. Let's explore. The legendary dining room. Beautiful scenery. Dinner utensils. Yeah. As a dining room. But I don't actually remember much about this game, so a lot of this game is going to be me trying to get things right. Picture of a woman, yeah, pretty. Obvious. Dusty looking grandfather clock. Okay. So I'm gonna reiterate I'm not good at survival horror. What? What is this? What is it? Blood. Jill. See if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Hope this is not Chris's blood. You better examine that blood good, Barry. Look at it. 
determine what type of blood that is. Oh, yeah. yeah, there's nothing inside. That's a shame. I mean, look at the window. It's dark outside and I can't see very far. Can we talk to Barry? Barry is investigating. He's looking at the blood. Oh! Will you take the emblem? Let's leave that there for now because I don't want to start taking things and I don't know what they do and what they're for. I want to have a clear idea of what I'm doing. But remember that's there, there's an emblem in there. And there's only one way out of this room which is this door. Now I do remember some things of this game. Obviously, come on. Who, who could ever have forgotten what we're about to see? Barry? What is it? Watch out! It's a monster! Let me take care of this. What is it? Kenneth was killed too. Maybe by this creature. Anyway, let's report this to Wesker. How could anyone ever forget that encounter? Well, that's your first zombie of the game, and if you, you run back to Barry, Barry will take care of it for you. With his magnum. Three shots though, Barry. Come on, man. Three shots with a magnum. Anyway, let's, so you can see his head got blowing completely off. So let's go talk to Wesker. I thought, I thought the zombie got back up and walked back out the door. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm misremembering things. Wesker! Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. Alright, so help look for him, but don't leave the hall. Important to know. Okay. So we can just run around. This right here is a typewriter, which is how we save the game in this um, survival horror. Um, you save, you need an item, a special item called Ink Ribbons. And um, you can only have a certain amount of them. So there's basically a limited amount of saves. Oh, I didn't even know this was a thing. There is, there is a limited amount of saves. Find anything, Jill? Nothing. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Beats me too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay, I'll try the door on the opposite side. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? And... Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. This time, I'll be there. Master of Unlocking. Who could ever forget that famous line? But yes, yeah, so the game wants us to go through one of the doors. 
over here. Now I can't, I th so I think it's the blue door, but I'm curious to see, can we go through this door? Locked, a uh, carving of an armor, so that requires the armor key. Let's go through the blue doors. Let's see what awaits us. We're probably gonna have our first enemy eventually. So the game is clear, we want to explore the first floor, look for Wesker separately, and if anything bad happens, return there. We've got this room, this famous room. Nothing unusual, just a painting. Beautiful oil painting. Okay. Now I do vaguely remember what to do here. Picture of a chubby woman. As you can see, a picture of beautiful scenery. As you can see in the bottom of the screen right there, there is what looks to be a scroll of some sort. That is indeed a map, I believe. So we can push things. And then use it with X. And then it's a map of the first floor. Well, you take it, probably useful. So now, if we open up the map, we've got, we can see all of the stuff. So in the room we're in, there's a little extra section in the corner, which is currently blocked by something. So well, we're going to go and check it out. I'm going to go back down, just hexagon. So, oh, do I... Pretty sure to gain access to the behind this cart and remove this. It's not like that was there for a reason anyway, right? And we can come in here. This little room. Oh, damn. It's a, it's a guy. And he's chomping on us. We insta-killed him, okay. That's nice to know we can insta-kill them when you do that. So we did take a little bit of damage, so we're still on the fine, but our, we are, we've taken a little bit of damage. Nothing major, so no healing required. That nice little um, reminder of bad stuff can happen. And will you take the ink ribbon? Yes, we will, and we got two of them. So an ink ribbon in there, that's good to know. Well, for you guys, I've already got it. So, we're actually going to end this episode here. We're not going to go too far into the game in this first episode. I wonder, what does the statue say? Women drawing water. Fair enough. Right, so we're going to actually, I'm going to go and demonstrate the ink ribbon, as it's a perfect opportunity for me to end the episode, and let us move on next time so use an ink ribbon you need to have one in your inventory will you take the oh i didn't i didn't know that oh yeah the little table next to the typewriter actually gives you ink ribbons as well so we've got four now so you can save your progress with this will you use the ink ribbon yes we will and we're gonna save And with that, we've made our first save of the game of Resident Evil, the classic legendary game. I'm looking forward to this playthrough. Warning you, for the last time, I'm going to suck at this. It's going to be bad. I'm going to use a lot of ammo that I probably could have gotten away with not using. And I'm probably going to fail. But we're just going to go with the flow and see where this game takes us. See you guys next time.